Hello learners, this is Meg Phelps here to talk with you about some time management tips. Let's do an overview. We'll talk about the tips, which include prioritizing tasks, setting smart goals, creating a schedule, eliminating distractions, reviewing and adjusting, and then a recap. So time management. Time management is the process of planning and controlling how much time you spend on specific activities in order to work more efficiently and productively. Effective time management can significantly enhance productivity and it can also reduce stress. Here are a couple tips. First tip is you wanna prioritize your tasks. Make sure to create a list, organize them by urgency and due date. What is due first? That's the first thing that you work on. Focus on those high priority tasks that align with your long-term goals. So if you're looking at this on a larger scale outside of academia, in life, you need to focus on what is most important that's going to get you to where you want to be. Where do you want to be? Set those SMART goals, okay? Ensure the goals that you set for yourself are really specific. You have to be able to measure them. They have to be something you can achieve. And they have to be relevant to whatever you're doing. And they have to be time-bound. So you have to put a limit on them. It's going to be done on March 4th, 2025 at 6 p.m. Make sure to break those larger goals into smaller manageable tasks to maintain motivation and to track your progress. When you're doing the smaller chunks, how do we eat an elephant one bite at a time, you can start to, the smaller chunks will start to get bigger and bigger the more they accumulate, okay? So breaking it into smaller pieces makes it easier for you to digest and for you to track that progress. And create a schedule. Make sure to plan your day or week in advance, allocating specific time blocks for different tasks. When you create your schedule, the first thing you need to put in is everything that is unchanging in that schedule, because you can't change those anyway, right? When do you sleep? When do you eat? When do you have a commute? When do you have work? When do you have class? When do you have study schedule? Start putting off blocks in there and setting it, setting it up for yourself so you can see what time you actually have available for things that you want to do. You can also use a digital calendar to do this or even planners to visualize your schedule and set reminders for yourself. You can, if you're using Google Calendar, you can set reminders. If you're using Microsoft Outlook, you can send emails to yourself. You have so many options. Just make sure you're exploring ones that work best for you. You'll also want to make sure you're eliminating any distractions. So identify the distractions for you. Is it social media? Is it unnecessary meetings? Is it, wow, the laundry looks really exciting right now? Whatever they are, make sure that you're doing your very best to minimize those distractions. You can also create a, a dedicated workspace for yourself, right? You can use techniques like the Pomodoro technique to maintain focus where you work for a little bit and then you take a little break and then you work for a little bit and then you take a little break because our brains are not designed to just consistently do hard work for four or five hours in a row. You need to just make sure you're listening to your brain and taking those breaks. It's okay to take those breaks, all right? But we wanna make sure we are eliminating those distractions in the process. And finally, review and adjust. Make sure you're reviewing your progress and adjusting your plans as needed. If the time management strategy or approach or schedule you have created is not working for you, choose another one. Try something different, right? You want to reflect on what strategies are working and what can be approved upon. Once you identify the difference between those, then you'll be able to optimize your approach to this time management thing. So give it a try. If you implement these tips consistently, hopefully they can help you manage your time more effectively and help you achieve your goals more efficiently. Make sure to be flexible by trying a variety of techniques to find the one that works best for you. And understand that even though it works best in this scenario, when you use it again in a similar scenario, it may be as effective, it may not, and that's okay because it's all a learning process. So let's recap. We talked about prioritizing tasks, setting SMART goals, creating a schedule, eliminating distractions, reviewing and adjusting, and staying flexible. Thank you so much for your time.